Can you believe it, guys? It's my three year Amazon FBA anniversary. That's right, three years ago is when I decided to take the first few steps of what has been an incredible journey. So in this video, what I wanted to do is basically recap all of that, talk about the different steps that I took to get to where I am today, the highs, the lows, everything. I want to cover everything that I think you guys should know, not just to show off or anything like that, but more so just to show you that three years ago, I was an absolute beginner. I had zero Amazon FBA or e-commerce experience, and now I've grown to be a six-figure seller. I've sold thousands of products to people across the world. I've coached thousands of people to do the exact same. And if I can do all of that, you guys absolutely can as well. So I really do hope that you enjoy this video and that you learn like things from it. And if anything, I hope that it encourages you to take those first few steps of your Amazon FBA journey because genuinely it has been life-changing for me. It's allowed me to grow as a person. It's allowed me to learn tons and it's helped me to meet so many incredible people, not just across the UK, but across the world. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so let's go right back to the beginning. When did I first come across Amazon FBA and how long did it take me to actually start putting things into practice? So December 2017 was when I very first heard of Amazon FBA. I think I just came across it on YouTube. At the time, I was feeling quite stressed and anxious from work. I was looking for a way to provide myself an additional income stream so I could stop feeling so stressed about getting fired from my current job in banking. And at the time, it, Bitcoin was very big. It was something that I was quite interested in because it seemed like an easy way to make money, but something didn't quite feel right. I saw the huge amounts of volatility with the price of Bitcoin. It would spike up one day, drop loads the next day, and I kind of just had the feeling that if I was to start investing in Bitcoin heavily, my anxiety wouldn't disappear. So I eventually came across Amazon FBA uh, on YouTube, I believe, and I thought this sounds great. It sounds a like really interesting way of making money. And I thought as a bit of an entrepreneur, it's something that kind of catered to my skill set, buying something for a low price, selling it for a higher one. So December 2017, I came across Amazon FBA and I thought, I'm going to do this myself. I don't need to pay anyone to train me to do it. I'll just watch YouTube videos. So I did that or I attempted to do that for a couple of months and nothing happened. I was getting home from work at ridiculously late hours. At the weekend, I either wanted to sleep, to chill or just hang out with friends and my girlfriend and nothing got done. And it got to May 2018. It was the May bank holiday weekend. And that is when I thought, Jansen, you need to actually do something now because if you change nothing, nothing changes. So I decided to enroll onto a course. I wanted to basically have access to exactly how to do Amazon FBA so that I could stop making excuses. And I wanted a mentor, somebody that could kind of coach me and encourage me when I was feeling demotivated. So it was this very weekend, the Maybank holiday, when I enrolled onto a course. And that's basically when I think I first officially started my Amazon FBA journey. And here is a post that I made in a Facebook group to basically celebrate that those first few steps that I'd taken. And I'm so glad that I did this. This is something that I encourage now all of my students to do. And if you're watching this, if you are interested in Amazon FBA, if you're thinking of starting it, I would really encourage you guys to do something like this because um, for one, it will help you to keep yourself accountable. And number two, it's just great to look back on and hopefully uh, in a few years time when you're smashing it and you're selling um, loads of products with Amazon, you can look back and think, wow, I really have progressed a load. So you can see this is the post here that I made in a group, basically said I've been watching Amazon FBA videos for a while and I decided to take the plunge and enroll on a course on this bright sunny day in London, literally like today, it's boiling hot outside and I'm in here filming videos for you guys. So nothing has changed there. Um, and then I basically just talk about my motivations, my inspirations, etc. And this is the thing that I quite like at the end that I said, I'm seriously excited to start this journey. I'm going to set up a YouTube soon. So I hadn't even started YouTube back then. And please remember this post for when I make it big. So, you know, that's something that I kind of show my students a lot now, whenever they join the academy. And it's something that 
I thought was a great way to mark the first few steps of my Amazon FBA journey. So straight after making that post on that Maybank holiday weekend is when I felt that I started to make traction. I understood what Amazon FBA was, I got how it worked, and I finally was able to basically hold myself accountable to start doing product research. And it wasn't actually until June 2018, so six to eight weeks later, I think it was, that I actually found a product that I was confident in. And this is something that I wanted to highlight in this video as well. Six to eight weeks is how long it took me to find that product. And, you know, one of the most common emails that I get from not only my students, but just my YouTube viewers, my Facebook group members, etc., is how long should it take to find a product? Because I feel that I've been researching forever and I'm just not finding anything. And when I say, well, how long have you been searching? The typical, the typical answer is two or three weeks or something like that. So I wanted to highlight here that it took me around six to eight weeks to find. And you guys should not worry, basically, if you think that it's taking too long. Rome wasn't built in a day. There's absolutely no need to rush anything. And in my opinion, if you are finding a product, if you find a product in a week or something like that, then you haven't quite done the amount of due diligence that you need to do. That's my opinion. I think that it does take a good amount of time to learn the process, to basically find a product and to do all the checks. And I think six to eight weeks is actually like quite good. So um, I wanted to bring that out here. If it's taking you guys around that length of time and you're getting worried, please do not get worried. So June 2018, six to eight weeks is when I found that product and I came up with a brand name that I like the look of. I got a logo designed and I basically went straight into it. I found a supplier and I ordered a thousand units in July 2018. So those thousand units cost me about three thousand um, pounds. Now, another question that I do get from like my viewers and members, etc., is how much can you start Amazon FBA with? I started with £3,000, you can do it with less. I would say the minimum that you need in order to be able to execute everything to the best of your ability is probably gonna be about £1,500. But £3,000 is, is the amount that I started with. I placed my order and I was excited, terrified. I had so many feelings and thoughts <laughs> like just running through my mind and I was basically just couldn't wait to start selling. So August 2018, it was actually the August bank holiday that I um, basically took delivery of my products at the Amazon Fulfillment Center and I sold my first product and I was just so excited when that first sale came through. It was, it's not really a feeling that you can describe because it does actually change your mindset a lot as well. Um, I think until you actually see Amazon FBA working for yourself, you're always gonna be a bit dubious and think, is this actually real? You know, can people actually make a living off it? And so on and so on. But August 2018, the May, the August bank holiday is when I sold my first product. And you can see here is where it's my first week of sales. And I remember like just that first week was incredible. Even though I was making um, six sales or so here on the 5th of September, um, I, you know, thought that was incredible. And it is, it was an, it's an incredible achievement to create something doing private labeling, your own brand, your own packaging, etc., to basically see that people out there in the country want to buy it, right? It's an amazing feeling. And I remember saying to my partner at the time, like sarcastically, you know, you've got the next Mark Zuckerberg here, I'm gonna make it big, blah, blah, blah. Like all tongue in cheek. Um, but, you know, I genuinely didn't realize like how quickly things could grow with Amazon FBA. So that's something that I wanted to kind of drill down uh, in this video as well, and you'll see it shortly how quickly things can progress. So that was my first week. So um, I carried on selling and my sales continued uh, increasing and increasing. I, I think I reached about 35 to 40 units in one day and I was just blown away. I basically thought, oh, hang on, I haven't actually ordered enough here. You know, initially when I placed that order for a thousand units, I thought that's probably too much. I might have it forever but things were just spiraling out of control. You can see here, this is only in my second week, I was selling 31 units here, and this was halfway through the day, or it's six o'clock in the evening, um, 31 units, 465 pounds worth of revenue, and in the last seven days, I'd generated nearly 5,000 pounds revenue, and I was operating on a 20% profit margin there. So like, that was 
you know, nearly a thousand pound profit that I'd made in my second week. And I was just thinking, this is, this is awesome. You know, it genuinely really did change my mindset completely. And I was like, do you know what? This is my new passion in life. This is amazing. I'm going to start doing YouTube, filming myself tutorials. And this is what I'm going to do for hopefully the rest of my life, e-commerce, selling online, etc. So um, I sold out and a couple of weeks later in September 2018, and then I thought I'm absolutely reordering. I'm now you know, gonna hopefully grow my business and sell even more. So in October 2018, um, so a, you know, just a month later, I believe I took delivery of my second order. And from memory, I think I ordered about 3000 units and Christmas came that, uh, that year, 2018. And you know, to say that it was crazy is an understatement. I was, I think my record was around 80 or 90 sales in a single day. I completely sold out again. And by December, just a couple of months later, I generated 15,000 pounds profit. And don't forget guys, I'd started from humble beginnings in the sense that I had a low initial investment. I had zero idea what Amazon FBA was, e-commerce, branding, any of that business, like just a year before. I was, you know, a year prior to that, I was unhappy in my job. I was stressed, anxious, and I was just thinking, there's no way out of this because what else am I gonna do? Just move to another job that I'm gonna hate as well. And I'm so glad that my mindset didn't stay on that and I discovered Amazon FBA. So um, let's um, now fast forward a bit. So February, a couple of months after that, is when I thought I wanna build and get bigger. So I started to do more product research and I found a product that I was actually quite interested in. My first product wasn't really something that um, I was naturally interested in. You know, whenever I was telling my friends about it, they were saying, that doesn't really seem anything like you. In fact, they thought it was quite weird I was selling it. But my second product was very me. And because of that, I think that kind of came out in my branding, my listing images, etc. So I was really excited to launch it. So I um, launched that second product in February, 2019. And, you know, fast forward um, like throughout the, the remainder of that year, otherwise we will be here forever. Um, I had an awesome year selling that second product. Uh, my record, which I'll show you in a moment, was around 180 sales in a day. And again, you know, to be generating that, to be selling that amount of units without having to even leave this room, without having to, you know, go to a post office or anything like that, was absolutely incredible. So um, I, you know, sold all of those units and I was just thinking, this is fantastic. And in May 2020, so for my two year anniversary, I hit the half a million mark, which I was, you know, incredibly proud of. And I thought, you know, that's an awesome milestone. And um, by that point, I think just in my head now, I think I had three products. So um, I hadn't quite um, expanded as fast as I would have liked. Um, you know, Amazon FBA, it can be quite um, consuming of your capital, so your cash, because you have to keep reinvesting and, you know, like you need to reinvest your money into new stock, basically. So it can be quite hard to scale as quickly as you would like. But, you know, I was getting there. So um, May 2020, I hit that mark. And then um, for the remainder of 2020, it wasn't like an outstanding year. And the reason for that is because of our good old friend, the coronavirus. Um, that's right, COVID-19 came along and sport the party a bit for me. So um, just to kind of give you guys um, an idea of the types of products that I sell, my first product is within health and beauty. And the second product, the one that I'm really passionate about, um, is within the travel niche, right? And it's no surprise to anybody that COVID had a massive impact on like products within the travel niche. So last year, as soon as the lockdown got imposed, my sales, you know, they did kind of dip quite a lot. And, you know, it was, I wouldn't say quite gutting because I still had, you know, other income streams and things. Certainly not as gutting to the other people out there that may have been put on furlough or been made redundant, etc. cetera. Um, I was still, I still felt, you know, very blessed that I still had different income streams and I still had my first product, etc. But obviously it was disappointing that that travel product, the sales were suffering. Um, so what I did is I kind of not felt sorry for myself, but I didn't really do much for a month or so. Just kind of saw myself start to dwindle. And then I thought, come on, Jansen, you're an entrepreneur, find a solution. And basically I started talking to my supplier. I found other products that they did within the travel niche, but kind of were less reliant on traveling abroad. 
and I started to launch those products. So in 2020, um, I actually launched around seven or eight different products um, all within this travel niche. So, you know, I did manage to make the best of a bad situation and that's what I would advise you guys to do. You know, generally one of my tips is to say that you need to be prepared for the good, the bad and the ugly when selling with Amazon. Not just with Amazon actually, but any business out there. Um, you're always going to cross, uh, come across, you know, hurdles in the road and things like that. And Amazon FBA is no different. So um, that's one thing that I would advise you guys to do. Always, you know, have your problem solving hat on. If anything bad happens, you don't give up. You need to stay, um, you know, you need to show tenacity and just show that you are not going to let go of the dream easily. That's what I did. And, you know, I've now come out of it much better. My brands, I think, are a lot stronger. My second brand, definitely. I've got a lot more, uh, a lot more diverse product range now and so on and so on. So anyway, let's get back onto it. So September 2020, um, again, was something that happened um, quite monumental for me. Um, that again was life changing and it was an awesome experience that I'm going to remember to the day I die. And that is I got on television talking about Amazon FBA and um, it was a fantastic experience. It, came, it basically came out of the blue, the whole the, the route to me getting on TV. Um, so obviously at this point, September 2020, I was filming, putting videos on YouTube and I'd been putting videos on YouTube for about two years at that point. So I got a message on Facebook from a like BBC News reporter and he said, you know, I've seen your videos, I think they're great and I'd be really interested to learn more about what Amazon FBA is because I don't really know about it and I'm a technology reporter for the BBC. So I said, yeah, sure. Didn't think anything of it, just thought, you know, I might get like a little paragraph written about me on BBC News or whatnot. So um, I had a conversation with him for about an hour and we got onto the topic of reviews. And he said, yeah, I know fake five stars are a big problem, but it's a bit of a boring story, isn't it? You know, everyone knows about that. And that's when I kind of told him about my fake one star episode that happened to me a couple of years back where I was getting, you know, one star reviews from competitors. And he really liked that story. And he basically took it to his producer and the producer said, let's get Jansen in for an interview and we can do like a segment on Newsnight TV and an article on BBC News. So that happened and like I say, it, that blew me away. It was an incredible experience and I have Amazon FBA and YouTube and all that jazz to thank for it. So September 2020, you know, I became a bit of an internet um, celebrity, uh, <laughs> tongue in cheek there guys. And um, things have been progressing since then. So, you know, I've been growing the Facebook group, I've been growing uh, the Smashers Academy, my training program, and above all else, I have been growing my Amazon FBA business. So um, I've gotten to the point now where I am selling 11 products under two different brands, and I'm now releasing my own customized products, my own exclusive products that I have designed. And, um, you know, if you were to find my art teacher from school and tell her that, I think she would be gobsmacked. Her mouth would hit the floor. I genuinely telling you guys, I got like a D and an E in art at school. I used to mess about. I didn't pay attention. I'm not creative in the slightest. So to think that now, all these years later, um, you know, I've designed my own private label products, like my own logo, my own packaging. Sorry, I've not designed it from scratch. I've directed it. Um, so to say that I've done, you know, all of that, and now I'm designing my own products, like. It, it's amazing. So at the moment, actually this week, I am launching my 11th or 12th product, uh, which is exclusive. Nobody else is going to have it. And I'm going to be doing a case study on it because I'm going to be launching with no reviews. And I want to show you guys what happens when you do that, when you can you know, differentiate and offer something that nobody else is offering. So um, I'm doing that and I've got a couple more exclusive products coming out in like six to eight weeks, hopefully. It does take a bit of time given that these are brand new and it takes time to make and stuff. Um, so yeah, that is my journey, guys. And it's really annoying actually because I can't find out what my total revenue to date is because Amazon have changed it recently and you can only go back now, um, what we like two years or so. So I'm missing out an additional year of revenue. Um, but if I were to guess, given that I hit 500K last year and I did have a bit of a bumpy year um, last year in the first half anyway, 
I would guess that I'm about 750 to 800,000 pounds worth of revenue. And I'm operating on like a 20% profit margin. So, you know, to, to be able to do all that uh, passively um, is incredible. And it makes me so grateful and just hungry for more. I'm so passionate about this topic, uh, about Amazon FBA. And, you know, genuinely this year, we're about halfway through now. I'm really hoping to be able to scale my business even more with these exclusive products. If I can get to 100K per month in revenue uh, by December, I'll be incredibly happy. And I, yeah, let's see, shall we? Let's see. But this time next year, guys, when I do my fourth year anniversary, I'm hoping that it will be a bumper one. So um, this is kind of a summary of the last three years, just like in one picture. You can see back in May 2018, I was a complete beginner. £3,000 to start, had no experience. I had that D and E like sitting on my shoulder from art class. And here we are today, a six-figure seller. Uh, I'm somebody that is utterly passionate about the topic of selling online, e-commerce, Amazon FBA, and I've grown to become a coach and somebody that sold thousands and thousands of products to people around the world. And this is kind of, you know, a little summary of everything. You can see um, one of my record breaking months there, £70,000 revenue I did. And my record, I think on Black Friday, just prior to that was about 170, 180 sales in a day. So I've done that. I've, you know, continued to grow my Amazon FBA business. I have grown my YouTube channel to five and a half thousand subscribers. Thank you, every single one of you that have you know, supported me on my journey, giving me the thumbs up, even the thumbs down, uh, the comments, the likes, everything. Um, I'm really, really grateful. So thank you for that. Then we've also got the uh, Amazon FBA Smashers group, which is now around six and a half thousand members, uh, which is awesome. Again, I started that from zero and of course, the Smashers Academy members, that has grown like beyond belief. Um, it's now just over 650 members, you know, full of people that just are like me, passionate, supportive, love Amazon FBA, and just want to basically give themselves an additional income stream. So um, those are all things, guys. Again, I'm not trying to show off or anything like that. I'm just trying to show you what is achievable. All you need is a laptop, an internet connection, and a small amount of money, relatively speaking, compared to other businesses out there, to be able to get this show on the road. Now, of course, the last three years hasn't been plain sailing. Of course, there have been things that have happened that have been upsetting, stressful, and at times made me think, do you know what, is this really worth it? Product research right at the very beginning was really challenging for me. I was working in investment banking, horrific hours, you know, getting up at 8 a.m., getting to my desk and then not getting home to like 11 o'clock midnight, sometimes even later. So I found that really challenging because I was thinking, how on earth am I going to have time to, you know, basically escape all of this? And do you know what? I just found a solution. This is what I was talking about with being an entrepreneur. It is about not giving up and finding solutions. So what I did is I did product research on my phone using the different tips and strategies that I've mentioned on this channel. And at the weekends, I found time. I set time aside in my diary, on my phone. I always said, these hours, you need to do product research. So that was really challenging. And then when I actually started to sell or negotiate with suppliers, you know, things went wrong. There were delays, things got canceled. I had um, problems with my very first product, the quality of it. So I got a load of bad reviews. Um, which meant that Amazon said, you need to sort your act out or you're going to get banned. Um, so that was really stressful. Then, of course, I got attacked by a competitor. Competitor was giving me loads of fake one-star reviews. But again, I did not give up. I fought back and I won. I got them banned and I got all my you know, fake one-stars taken off. Then COVID has happened. It's been a real challenge. There's been like lots and lots of bumps in the road, but beyond all else, I will say that the Amazon FBA experience has taught me so much. It has given me a skill set that I genuinely think can be used across many, many walks of life. It's actually made me a much more of a confident person on camera when talking to people, because I do feel now that I've got to the position where I do actually know quite a lot about the topic of selling online and e-commerce. And I think in addition to that, in the back of my mind at work and wherever, I'm always like, I've got that safety blanket. I've got the Amazon FBA income stream coming in. 
So, you know, I don't need to feel anxious and worried about not being able to pay bills and things like that. And, you know, I genuinely think that this has changed my life. It's been awesome. So, you know, all of those different negatives that I was talking about, dealing with seller support at times, um, it's all normal, guys. And if you, you know, decide to take the first few steps of your Amazon FBA journey and you come across bumps in the road, problems, etc., please, please do not give up. You need to stay tenacious. You need to show that you are a fighter. And I promise you that is the secret to success. Just not giving up and just being like, hell no, this is not going to put me off. The way that I see it is it's a bit like a filter. And if you think how many people every single day are learning about Amazon FBA and wanting to get involved, the majority of those, as soon as they come across a problem, as soon as they see or realize that product research is quite difficult, they are going to drop off. And at the moment, at the beginning, they are kind of your competition. So you need to show that you are you know, better than them, you are more determined than them. And if you show that, eventually you're going to travel all the way down this Amazon FBA funnel, get all the way to the end, become a seller just like me, and you're going to reap the rewards. That's, that's all there is to it, guys. Just basically not giving up. So that is my journey. That is my three year like journey, my, you know, marathon, whatever summed up for you. And I really hope that this video has given you, those of you that are on the fence, those of you that are thinking of doing it, I hope it's given you the encouragement to actually start. Genuinely, it was one of the best decisions um, that I could have made. It's one of the best decisions I've made in my life and I want it to be yours too. So if you are interested in learning more about Amazon FBA, then I've got lots of things for you that you can get started with without having to actually commit any capital, right? I've got my Amazon FBA Facebook group. It's completely free. We've got six and a half thousand members, people that just want to learn about Amazon FBA. They're sellers, they're beginners, they're everyone. So join that. I've got my free Amazon FBA training. It's a webinar that genuinely is packed full of decent information. And yeah, it's completely free. It's about an hour and a half in length. And I'd really encourage you to check it out. So the, the registration form for that is in the description below. And finally, if you, you're just decided that you do want to start your Amazon FBA journey, if you want to be coached by me, actually me, it's me that will be replying to your emails and Facebook messages, etc., and teaching you how to do it, then of course you can join the Amazon FBA, the Smashes Academy. And I will put a link for that in the description box below as well. So that is it for this week, guys. It's, a, it's an emotional one. It's my three year anniversary. So I'm going to go and have a celebratory drink. But I'm very much looking forward to giving you guys even more tips, uh, tricks, strategies, everything on my YouTube channel this year. And I can't wait to basically do my four year anniversary video next year to see what's happened from now to then. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.